Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another developer update. This is a really exciting developer update to be doing because I feel like we have some really great news for you. I've been paying attention to a lot of social media and I've been hearing the buzz, everybody asking about when is Summer Games coming back. Well, now is the time Summer Games is coming back very soon. There's new skins and new content coming as well. And I don't want to spoil it all, but I'll give some hints. Rocket League, I'm sorry, I mean Lucio Ball is coming back but this time with 100% more salt because we're gonna be running a competitive Lucio Ball system. That's right, we took the fun blow off Steam mode from last year and you know made it into something that you guys can really go blind with rage over. Um, that's something we're very excited about. So um, just to back up a little bit, um, the Doomfist release has been really cool. We've given him a number of great abilities and we think you guys are really having fun with him. He has one of the funnest ultimates in the game where he shoots up into the air and comes crashing down to earth, similar to uh, how your skill rating is gonna be crashing down now that Doomfist is available in competitive play. In fact, a lot of his abilities are based on some of the most brutal moves I've learned during the many, many years I spent behind bars. But that's a story for another day. We also gave Doomfist a great passive ability because sometimes when you take a lot of hits, you need to have this protective barrier to stay alive. Sort of like if people keep making fun of you on the internet, the only way you can get through each day is by putting up this barrier and people ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Um, anyway, I, I know there's a lot of um, small things that people would be interested uh, to know that we're working on as well. So a great example is uh, Mercy is getting a very short cinematic where I give her the old cap plan backhand right across the face. And this this is a uh, dedicated to all the Mercy players who don't solo resurrect me after I die. Um, but it's a really amazing animation and I think it looks pretty amazing. So hopefully you guys like that that content. Now I wanted to address one more topic very quickly. We are finally introducing a report feature for console players. And so we know that hatred of Overwatch console players is at an all time high. So if you see a person playing Overwatch on a Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, uh, please report them through this new system and we'll send a couple of the lads over to deal with them. So that's all we have for today. I know that I'm wearing this shirt today, but make sure to tune in next time when I won't be wearing a shirt at all. Um, so thanks for everything, and uh, we look forward to our next chance to catch up together. We've also added a new card to the arcade that's called Competitive Lovemaking, where you play as Torbjorn, as he makes aggressive sexual advances towards Reaper. He's got, you know, two huge balls and he's ready to rumble and will give you a user interface element that lets you know when he can unload with them.